So as much as I don't want to beat a dead horse again, something has come up and um, I'm going to mention it because I feel that it's important. Um, over the last several weeks, I've been keeping a close eye on uh, Saturn and Jupiter. And as you guys notice, if you do see them in the sky, they're clearly visible. If you have clear skies where you are. Um, and they're aligned in a sort of angular trajectory um, with Saturn being behind Jupiter at about at an 11 o'clock hour, at 11 o'clock hand. So, and I kept saying to myself that I know that I've seen this sort of alignment before. Um whether I saw it on TV or wherever it may be. And it, it just clicked in my head. It kept looking familiar, looking familiar. So someone pointed out and actually made a video about this, that it is an iPad Go 2. And, it, and it's absolutely undeniable that it's anything but this alignment. So um, basically, it is not an it's not even in the cartoon itself, but it's rather in the logo. So let me show it to you, and then you guys are welcome to take a look at the alignment yourself and how they're moving together. And even in the logo, uh, during the end of the cartoon, the way they're moving closer together, they're actually moving, it's shown, are the exact same trajectory that in reality is taking place. So, but, sorry for the, this is my crappy demon phone from work and it's glitching. You guys see that O, the, the big O? And uh, on the other left is a dot. So, that's the exact position of uh, Saturn and Jupiter. Now, having said that, um, <sighs> is that what it is? I don't know, because we've been wrong every single time before about everything, but it's pretty undeniable that that's what it looks like. So it's something important to take note of. And if there is significance to this event on the 21st, I don't think that that specific day is relevant for me. Afterwards, possibly, like I've been mentioning previously, Christmas is on the table. If that's the case, then so be it. If not, then also so be it. Um, be overjoyed that we have another day to live in relative peace. <laughs> Um, because I just watched this rather depressing video, uh, that I'm gonna share down below that I highly recommend you to watch where this economist essentially makes comparisons between the events that took place during the start of the Great Depression and what is taking place now, and the similarities are astonishing. Now, my opinions on these economic depressions are it's simply nothing more than a systematic genocide, first of all. And second of all, it's a subjugation of the slave classes. If they get too out of hand, if the prosperity becomes too good, we need to make sure to bring them back down and take, uh, take their wealth so that they get so that they have to grind back up on that hamster wheel again and try to climb out of that filth that the that the monsters on top took away from them and uh, this is uh, as clear as obvious as can be uh, since the start of this uh, zombie virus we know that billionaires have made pretty much more money than ever and you guys know it's perfectly okay to shop in big box stores and be surrounded by countless upon countless people in uh, 
what can only amount to an, incuba an incubator for disease, but uh, mom and pop shops are a no-go zone where 10 people a day go to. So we all understand, if you have any brains, that this is a matter of siphoning wealth. Well, he points out actually similar things. So, and one thing that really got to me deeply is that uh, somebody was making an observation that a farmer was pouring out milk, like gallons upon gallons of it, because he was unable to sell it at the market while people were literally starving to death during the Great Depression. Now that kind of reminds me of all the meat that's been thrown out earlier in the year. Because we have people going hungry here too. It's a systematic subjugation of people to put them back in line and nothing more. I'll share it down below. It's highly informative. Please watch if you can. Have a good day.